guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you a fun and easy way of how i customize these thrifted mom jeans if you want to find out how i did it just keep watching before i started anything i went on pinterest just to look at some ideas of how i wanted my pants to look I've been seeing these one line design pants all over my Pinterest board and on Instagram because obviously if you bought these offline they would probably be more than a hundred plus dollars and you know I'm a broke ass girl and I don't got money for that. So when I was first sketching on these pants I was using a red color pencil which ultimately wasn't a good idea because it was really hard to erase so I ended up having a lot of red marks. But when you're doing this I would suggest just using like a regular old 2B pencil because the lead is soft enough that will show up on the pants and you can also easily erase it. <laughs> video I just used black acrylic paint, some brushes, and water. I picked up two brushes but I ended up just using the round brush mostly because it's a lot easier to do the curved lines with that brush. And I also want to say if anyone does try to do these, I would really suggest using a lot of water in your paint because it will make the paint flow onto the fabric so much easier than if you don't. Hello, I'm like halfway done with my pants right now. And you know, I'm taking an intermission to eat a bagel. But it's going good, thanks for asking. I'm done with the first side of the pants. I'll show you in a moment once I'm done, you know, cream cheesing this bagel. Don't judge me because I use the full thing of cream cheese because cream cheese is a scent from the gods and it's delicious. Don't at me or at me, I don't care. Let me show you where we at. This is what we're at right now. I'm gonna do one more layer and then I'm gonna do the back. It's actually a gorgeous day today in the city. I love living in the city. I grew up in the suburbs and let me tell you, that shit is boring as hell. Nothing happens. It's very quiet. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I was getting sick of that. You know, after 23 years of just living in the suburbs, I just like needed a change. I was very lucky to even get into art school, be able to afford to come here and be able to afford to even live here. So honestly, it's a true blessing. I want to take it all in and soak it in and just enjoy my life out here because it's not going to last. Obviously, nothing lasts forever. But I'm going to take every single day and do something you don't have to do something big just do something small just do something every day and i swear to god you'll be fulfilled just some life advice for me okay let's get back to the pants So while I was eating my bagel, just contemplating life, I was thinking, how can I make this project easier for myself? And then it hit me like a train. Why don't I outline in Sharpie first and then put the paint over? I swear to God, it was so easy to think of, but I didn't think of it. I ended up outlining everything in Sharpie first and then going over it again with the acrylic paint. I did this because I know when you put Sharpie through the washer, it does bleed into the fabric. Adding the acrylic paint on top of the Sharpie acts as like a mask so the sharpie won't bleed through once you add the acrylic paint on top. So like I just said, I ended up just outlining everything in sharpie again and going over it with the acrylic paint for that second layer.
thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>